You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Doyle. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And you're listening to Pat Benatar, too, apparently. And we love to uh, improve your home and improve your life. And, you know, we all reach that point in our life where there's a room that uh, was serving a certain purpose, and now it's not serving that purpose. And now you might be saying, finally, 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 it's he's mine. gone. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but maybe that's well, yeah, what it with, is. For example, kids leaving, going off to school. You Empty know, nesters. A lot of times you may want to say to that child, hey, Brad or Billy, you're going to go to college now, and chances are you're not going to come back here. Can we take that room and we'll honor you still, and we'll keep some of your stuff here on a dresser and you really? know all your great awards, but we want to turn it into a different kind of room. It'll still be a place for you to sleep when you come back, but seriously, we can't enshrine this room for you now. See, We'd that, like, I wasn't you, so lucky. My parents didn't ask me. Well, my brother threw out all my stuff. <laughs> sale. So yeah, I hear you. But that's why I think it's important to have that conversation before it happens. Yeah, I mean, you definitely don't want to like throw out all their stuff, you know, ha- and it can be... Unless you're Kurt Stromer. You can, well, yeah. we're going to have to give him a phone call. Yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, there's definitely a lot of ways to create memorabilia decor. But in terms of now finally getting that room to look like how you want, let's talk about it. There's all kinds of things you can do to transform that room that now is yours again. Yeah, and, and also, let's not... Th- Let's not forget, not only are folks maybe leaving, uh-huh, coming back. but people are going to be coming back, either kids that can't find jobs in this crazy market, or maybe your parents Relatives, who yeah. now need to come back and move into your home because they're downsizing. Exactly. So there's a lot of transition going on right now, and let's talk about some ways to honor that space. So let's say that it was a bedroom for a certain someone, and now that someone is no longer in your let's home. Let's say he's gone to New York and gotten a job <laughs> in the ad game. All right, so it's happy for him, but now we want to make the space the great. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a madman experience. That's it, yeah. But now you want to turn this into a luxury closet. Yes, you do. Why not? Because you know what? You deserve more room for your shoe boxes and the long hang that you always had to cram into the corner. You're going to make little Donnie's bedroom, who now has a great job in New York, you're going to make it your own closet. I mean, can so you imagine can you a whole room as a closet? I, what are you, big from, from uh, I that... Would... Remember that? I would love you know, Sex in the City. Yes. I would love, I mean, this is like a woman's fantasy especially, but I think a lot of men would like it sure. too, where you walk into a room and it's almost like you're in a department store. I mean, all of your pants oh. are in one area. I mean, Why can you not? imagine you'd be so free? You could just see everything. And it doesn't have to look like a junky storage space. It can be a really well thought out area. It's a dressing area. And then you can even maybe share that with your spouse. He could have a half of that side. Sure. There'd be a center, maybe bank oh. ad in there where you guys could sit and put your shoes on maybe a chaise occasionally lounge occasionally graze shoulders and turn and laugh and go <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> right right but I, I love the idea of now you've got a whole room that is this luxury closet and for women especially it could also have a little vanity table in the corner right it could have I mean, the room is endless. I love well, that. Well, and, and listen, not only, there's a couple of things that could happen here. You yeah. could, A, turn that room into a beautiful dressing area for his and her. Yeah. And then what happens to the closet that's in the bedroom? Well, guess what? You could turn that closet yes. into an office space. Whoa. Right? You could you could take all the hang stuff out of it and put a piece of wood across a desk height. Oh, my with gosh. With a one by two piece of wood around it to have that wood, the plywood supported in the back and the sides of the closet. And then a one by two inch runner going across the front guess what now you've taken what may have been an office in that other room i've got two rooms now you got two rooms see that's really that's downright dreamy that's kind of that's downright genius is what it is and that wouldn't cost that much to do no, it wouldn't. right that's so a real and easy a lot, makeover and a lot of us have that room that i'm um, growing up we had this room we called the junk room yeah and it was a room where it was I, like I it was like supposed to be a guest room but it turned out to be where things got just kind of pushed in yep. you know so now get all that out of there yep. and think of it making it to be a, a room Closet, well, and guess. so let's talk about a closet. What yeah. would you what would you put in? What's your dream list to have a beautiful master closet that is a small bedroom that your son now who has gone to New York to get in the ad game and has a great job <laughs> well, and moved out? What is that room? Not only like is it you? it's racks and racks and shelves and things for all the clothing and the shoes are yeah. all neatly, you know, it's almost like artwork by color. Again, like a department store. Do, it's I, on dare, do I dare introduce a yeah. desk with a yes. chair and a mirror, makeup yes. area? Yes. Hello? And a chaise, and I want a lounge. I and want a, a chaise full lounge. length mirror also. And some great lighting, beautiful lighting. Yep. And I'm happy. I mean, I, I might have 
some time in there while we just hang out. We might, might even hire an employee just to walk around in there and, just ask, <laughs> and say, wow, you look, you, you've lost weight, haven't you? Well, we'd have to have a recording of that. You know, they have scales like that. You yeah. look, you're skinnier you're and prettier than us. <laughs> so that's an idea. Let's we'll yeah. say that there's another room. It also was potentially, you know, a, a bedroom that now is no longer, but you want to make it a den. Why sure. not make it that cozy, comfy den? And maybe that den has a hide a bed because, yes. you know, Don or Barbara they, are going to come back on the back, holidays, but, but they want to sleep somewhere. They're going to sleep somewhere, but but it's going to be all new look. It's going to have like that shabby chic, you know, with cozy couch and nice coffee table, maybe even a TV and a lot of plants. I mean, this could be a really cool and, room. And this is, again, I think, let's bring this up. Just, I, I think it's important to talk about. Before they go off to college or they go off to get another job, I think if you just say, look, we love you, we honor you, you're great, but we do want this space to have some other purpose, purpose. than just a shrine to you when you're not here. Or a are room you, that's not used. Are you comfortable with that? Mm. How about we take some of your belongings and put them in a great area where, you, you know, it's your trophies from junior high and your mm -hmm. medals and your diploma and all that stuff. That's fine, but Dad and I want to use this as a as a place where – you know, we can maybe turn it into some other functional space. Is that okay? And they'll be like, oh, God, I guess. I don't know. It's not, I know, it's going to be But you got to do it. You got to do it. It's better than having them come back and guess what? Your room is pink and it's now Aunt Millie's place. I know. that's That feels like rejection. I, I agree. All right. What about, let's say, another room that you have? Let's yeah. say that the space is, again, a bedroom that's okay. not being used. It's kind of small. It was like a half bedroom, sure. right? We never liked it anyway. But what if you now turn that with a little bit of plumbing into that gorgeous master bathroom that you always wanted? Oh, could you do a, that? Well, you Even could, but now, now keep in mind, with plumbing, that's going to end up being a yeah. little bit more expensive. But listen. You, you can help us. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that. And, and here's what you would do, and especially if you have a house that's on a raised foundation. All the plumbing situations can occur in that crawl space. It's so much easier. Now, if you have a slab foundation where it's cement, underneath and they have to cut the cement mm. and run all the plumbing through the floor that way yeah sometimes can be a little more challenging so depending on the kind of house you have how it was built that space could in fact be that new fancy master bathroom that you always dreamed of for just 20 to seventy five thousand dollars. oh <laughs> that's all <laughs> you know price of a kitchen fi maybe 50 who needed a kitchen yeah maybe 50 yeah we'll just be we'll eat in the bathroom but but great idea I know. Seriously. I if mean, you have a little equity in the house, now's the time. Mm -hmm. You know? You might not have been thinking about that half bedroom as the, you know, master. Now bath. maybe you don't have to move because you decide you're going to change some space around because your son or daughter who got that great job and they left gave you the space to have a, a great master bath. You don't have to leave now. Well, maybe too that that little, that bedroom, that teenage bedroom that, you know, it was kind of all in, you yeah. know, posters and certain themes that you yeah. wouldn't want as uh -huh. your decor, now you change it into a really gorgeous, luxurious hotel guest suite. That's right. And and listen, frankly, I don't want to look at Justin Bieber posters anymore. <laughs> I want to move on in my life. I am Is not that really, so wrong? I, he's really not great. He's kind of, no. now he's like 50 and it's not no, fun it's, anymore, mm -mm, right? No. Let's move on. We're moving on. Okay, good. How about another bedroom that, you know, it's newly empty and, you know, it's just kind of collecting dust and yeah. it's like, hello, you want to do something? Turning it into a guest room slash home office. It's the See, combo that's mambo. that's a good combo. And the bed is a half bed. It's like those little day beds, yeah. right, that don't take all the room yeah. away. They're comfy. They're great for a guest. And now you can really use the space and turn that into... Your home office. And I'll tell you why the home office, den, or guest bedroom is mm. such a great combination. Because we can now, when the, when the guests are there for two to three days, you can take your laptop into the kitchen or your own bedroom and still do your work. But when they're gone, it can be a place where you really become, you know, work-centric in that space. So... I think that's a great combination. Let's, let's do that Let's one. do that. Or yeah. how about a reading room? I know you love to read. Oh, man, do I ever. What about creating, this is Eric's dream reading room. Yeah. And it's basically like a man cave, but it's a tranquility room. Yeah. And so you have that little half bedroom, very tiny. Yeah. But now it's going to be all about you, a place for you to kind of cozy up with your favorite book. Your newspapers. Pretty much a, a fantastic. This is the critical component to the reading room, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and and you got to spend your money here. What's that? The incredible comfortable chair. Yeah. 
that may want to be a big oversized overstuffed leather chair with an with a little ottoman with foot, a foot right you got to have the feet yeah. up I'm, yeah and a side table or it may you may want to do the relax your back chair version the where, it, where it reclines uh -huh. and it's the space chair that was Massages. tested by nasa perfect and astronauts in that position have their heart rate more effective i've, I've researched all this stuff <laughs> This I, is my, I, that's my chair, because there's a desk that actually goes up and faces you as if you're laying in a lawn chair where your your head is down and your and feet are up. And how much is this chair? Probably 1500 1800 okay, bucks, something so like that. I but think then, you need but this. But then the, the, the laptop can be upside oh, down like you're in space. Like you're in the, you're in the shuttle right and you're, now. And you're doing nothing except laying there and looking up at the computer. Oh, oh my God. my See, fantasy room. That is your And the room cave. could be blank with nothing in it if I had that chair in that situation. That's I, all you ask for. Yeah, okay, that's, that's what you're it. getting. That's what we wish okay, for you. Good. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, maybe a fun game room, too. True, yes. You know, painting a wall with chalkboard paint oh, and then putting right. in some games in that room that's not being used. Anyway, yep. we'll put it on the website at yourhomewizards.com. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards, and that's Eric Stromer singing. That's a fun song. Isn't that Fix great? It, man. Yeah. And I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, and I'm by Eric. the way, you can email us for your chance to win Eric's uh, CD. All kinds of great songs, and that's the the lead song on this on the CD. That's the kind of song that makes you get up and do something. Yeah. Kind of, it kind of makes you do a little do si do while you're vacuuming yeah. with a huge belt buckle on. Step. Yeah. Step. step touch. Two step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. So maybe you are listening to that. Uh, you can. While turning that room that is right now not being occupied, it's, well, it's an empty nest room. It's a room that is it's your dream space to be. And we were coming up with ideas like, what about making it a game room? Have okay. you always wanted a game well, room? Well, here's why I want a game room now. Sure. Okay, my, my, middle two, my middle kid, Dusty, and his friend Colin, they stay up all night playing this NBA 2014 Video game, game. right? It's, a, it's an amazing game. Yeah. But it takes over the room and it commandeers the entire space. So if anybody w actually wants to watch TV or entertain, these guys are in there with this Game Boy thing and, and it's crazy. It's overwhelming. So why not take a space... And this is what we used to call back in the Midwest, back in the 60s and 70s, a rumpus room. Uh -huh. A place where you literally throw the kids in there, <laughs> shut the door, and they're rumpusing, whatever rumpusing is. But that would be the perfect game room where, I love it. where you got your, your video games, consoles, board set up, games. Board games. You got a chalk paint wall where they can draw. My, my, my little one, Willow, she uh -huh. loves to draw on walls for some reason because I think she's a future law breaking graffiti artist in the making, but she just loves writing on walls. So why not? have that chalkboard paint or and I saw this in an office a couple of days ago I didn't tell you that oh. that that uh, sharpie paint Oh sure 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 uh, who they, makes it well again? it's the it's actually made by Benjamin, Benjamin Moore. Moore it's I think, the yeah. dry erase dry erase board paint. paint it was amazing man they had an entire wall dedicated to having people write you know process and for their brainstorming, business, brainstorming it, sure. sessions. It's, and then it you can erase it and then come up with a new idea. And, it, and, it, and I actually went up to it and I squiggled the line, you know, uh -huh. and, and it went right away. And it seems like it works really well. So I would love to see that in one of these game rooms, either a chalkboard wall or the dry erase paint wall with the console, with the games. Man, that could be a place. And soundproof the door so you mm -hmm. can't hear the little fellas and gals mm -hmm. when they're making your life a living nightmare. But they're in another room. Why? Because they're in the rumpus room. And they could maybe have a little TV and some music. I sure. mean, it, it would be heaven for them. I might even give them pretzels. I don't know. Maybe Something. it's a little mini refrigerator. Yeah. So they don't have to keep coming out and getting milk and juice and stuff. That, and that, of course, that'll then transition into a beer fridge when they're a little bit older. <laughs> but anyway, we won't go there just yet. <laughs> but what a great way to turn that empty nest room, yep. or maybe it's a junk room, into something that is going to be great. And maybe turn like a dresser into the, the storage area That's for all it. the games. That's a great idea. Really, yeah. really cool. Comfortable chair, maybe some bean bags, anything, anything like that. And if you just... wanted to have a game room for older people, sure. like not kids, maybe it's the young at heart. 
Yeah. Like a billiard table. Oh, you know? see, now you're speaking and my pinball language. Or machine. ping pong. Hello, ping pong. I, got, I have a great you ping have pong one. table. Yeah. And it folds up. Well, it holds my laundry currently. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for You know, it's dry. one of those things you buy and everyone's going to be, you know, this is my fantasy. They're going to all be playing tournament ping pong. And then cut three months later, it's just a bunch of laundry piled up on this flat table. And how much did you pay for that? 700 bucks. Mm. eBay. Thank you. <laughs> Craigslist. Yeah. That goes the way of the great exercise <laughs> machine dry cleaning holder. Well, right? speaking of which, maybe you want to turn that empty room into a gym. Well, yeah, who would Because you, you've done that before. I, I, have a, I have the world's greatest squat rack that I built out of four by fours. And that you know you can put the big olympic size bar on the top and get your game on get yeah. ready for football season when you're 50 why not something. why not right so you well, you could turn this into a home gym with all the different tools uh you could even have like a yoga you yoga get, mat get your yoga mat you could, oh well here's what i love Treadmill. lately and the and the little uh the the thing that rolls on the ground where you the you know, balls you, you, well no it's a it almost looks like a cylinder that's about oh, two sure. feet wide for your neck and your and your neck and the side of uh, your thighs uh -huh. that it's i can't remember it's called the it's a ox, ox, oxlibital band or something like that, and mm -hmm. it's a band you can't stretch when you're trying to stretch an area, and it, it's the one that causes the most knee and lower back injuries. And when you lay on your side, it, it releases all the tension in that side band. And you have this at home? I have it. Well, look at me. The great. I, it, does it look like Limber. Do I look like a guy that's going to pull his back out? Not no. at all. I know. Flexible. That's right. No stress. No. So why not think about you two could turn that bedroom that's not, you know, it's currently just holding dry cleaning into uh, the home gym. And let me tell you what the home gym would look like. Yeah. It would be... Uh, a vibrant color paint yeah. you would Energizing. have. Energizing. And then you'd have a couple of big mirrors that yeah. you could either look at yourself while you're doing your fancy hip-hop move <laughs> that you've learned in your jazzercise class. Sure. Or you can just at least look at yourself while you're doing your pose down with your son, challenging him to a quick Downward double, dog. double bicep pose. Yeah, why not? Why right, not? <laughs> right. Or your yoga, obviously. You're looking at your body position when you're trying to do certain moves for your exercises. And then your weights can be there. A, a dumbbell, set of dumbbells that maybe are, you know, the kind that stack. So you mm -hmm. have one dumbbell and it becomes, you know, 15 all the way up to 50 pounds right in that one area, saving space. You need some music You You got to have great music and speakers. Great music. Yeah, right. Yeah. You, or a uh, ballet bar that goes into yeah, the wall where you can idea. put your leg up and stretch. Just, yeah, definitely. I love the ballet bar because there's some, um, in fact, I've taken a number of classes that are just bar classes, right? Oh, cardio bar, whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah, and it's, it really is strengthening and yeah. it isn't just ballet. I mean, yeah. it's some really cool stuff. So, yeah, I think I want to have the bar in there. I want you to have the bar. And the treadmill. Yeah, right? and the big ball that you can roll on and yeah. get your lower back stretched out. And maybe some great wood flooring. I would do the engineered wood flooring. And, and the engineered wood flooring is great because you can install those floors yourself very, very easily. They can go over any surface. If it's concrete, you can put a, a vapor barrier between the concrete and the wood. It gives a little bit, almost like a basketball mm -hmm, court, mm -hmm. and it's inexpensive. It's, the price point's really, really reasonable. And it's so easy to do yourself. You can do it yourself. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, right? Absolutely. They just kind of yeah. clamp onto you each other. You just need a, either a jigsaw or a crosscut saw, and you're good to go. Done. What about if you are a dog lover turning that spare room now into a dog palace? See, that's a great idea, too, because, you know, maybe the dog needs a space of their own. Right? Just a place to go in and hide from the craziness in the home. It's just kind of a fun, it's almost like a, a tribute to your dog. You know you what? Could, you could have a, a cat tower in there a cat could while be, you're at yeah, it. Yeah. Cats and dogs living together, mass hysteria. Love it. <laughs> and you could have all the different supplies. And I mean, you know, imagine like a whole room dedicated well, it might also with be It might be nice to have the feeding station in that room because right. sometimes you, maybe you don't want to have the dogs in the kitchen like I do. Where it's, Now when I scramble eggs, they hear the... Uh -huh. And they oh, all too. show up, and they're just sitting there going, okay, when's the yolk coming? Uh -huh. My coat is dingy. I need some egg yolk. Every time I'm there doing they it. They got so you right where they want it you. It might be better if you had them in another room. They probably would still hear you making the eggs and smell it, but yeah. at least they would have to walk further. <laughs> but you could also make this spare room into a home theater. I mean, there's more in life than having a TV in a living room. Why not make it a full-blown home theater with like a projection screen, you know, ceiling-mounted projection on the wall yep. for movie night, you know what I mean? No Big question. recliners. And I'll tell you, there's nothing better than seeing, uh, you know, a, a home theater situation when it comes to watching a movie at your house because... Now they make these reasonable p packages that are somewhere in the vicinity of fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars, right? So, this becomes a room that's dedicated expressly to great engineered sound. 
the speakers are in the exact right position, and you know the man, the men in the audience are going to go like, "Yeah, big sound, huge amounts of sound with THX around," and the women are going to be like, "Oh my God, turn that thing down! I can't believe it." That's how my wife and I mm-hmm. are. She cannot stand the, the deep, loud, deep that bass. vibration. Uh-huh. I go crazy for that, like so, Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. yeah, in a world that guy. You know? <laughs> yeah, amazing. So yeah, that would be a really great use of that space. I mean, there there's some great options. Out there now for these huge screen TVs and then the great sound system, or great. even do it yourself, you know, floating screen. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, well, no if you have the projector, yeah, they right? have these essentially like the old slide projectors can hook into the laptop and you can show movies through those. So yeah, there's great options now. Well, anyway, a lot of good ideas that you can right now do to turn that uh, that space that is an empty, you know trash room into something yep. magnificent. That's it. It's for you. It's your turn. That's it. You're an empty nester. Do it. Take it on. <laughs> Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, thanks for hanging out with us. And remember, check us out at yourhomewizards.com. We love to improve your home and your life. Light the fire While you place the flowers In the vase that you bought Today